my goodness. Okay, guys, hi, it's me again. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to my internet connection or Periscope or something, but I'm glad to be back in. So this is take two of my message that I was trying to bring a few minutes ago. Thank you all for joining in. I don't know what happened. So um, as one of my friends, Nikita B says, cyber demons, I guess. So anyway, I'm glad y'all are back on. And um, let me introduce myself, actually, for those of you who might be new to joining me. I didn't introduce myself earlier. Uh, but I am Tamika Isaac Devine. I am a practicing attorney here in Columbia, South Carolina. I am also a member of Columbia City Council, and I'm also founder of the Possibilities Institute. Uh, I am a certified success strategist, and with the Possibilities Institute, we work with women to empower them, women leaders and moms, to discover their leadership possibility, maximize their potential, and live a life that leaves a legacy. And I know, and an awesome woman, thank you so much, Millie, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the hearts too. So while you're here, if you are new to me, please um, feel free always to uh, check me out on Periscope or Twitter. Um, and also you can check out my website at www.possibilitiesinstitute.com. But anyway, back to the message that I was trying to share with you all. Um, the message that I wanted was that life is too short. <clears throat> what I was sharing with you before um, the cyber demons took over was that um, a few days ago I had a very, very sweet friend um, and a colleague pass away. And um, over the last few days I have been really thinking a lot about her and her life and the legacy that she leaves us with, uh, but also a couple of the last conversations that she and I had um, when she knew that she was sick. and. Um, some of the things that she shared with me uh, just about life um, and uh, things that went well, things that maybe she wanted to do over, um, maybe some, some small regrets there, here and there. And I've been thinking a lot about that because I think all of us think back sometimes on our life and they think about things that we could have done differently, things that we could do better. Um, but, you know, we really have to think about um, living a life that you were really just living a life, living a life full of happiness and joy and, and really doing things for ourselves and not always necessarily uh, doing things for other people and trying mm -hmm. to um, please other people. And so I was thinking about that and what I shared before, well, uh, this is not a gloom and doom scope. I don't want anybody to say, oh, I'm not <laughs> listening to this girl because she's talking about um, dying and I don't want to hear about dying. Uh, but I do know, especially as an attorney, especially when I'm working with my clients about wills and estate planning, people don't want to think about dying. Um, and this scope is not about dying, but it is about living um, and really, truly living the life that God intended you to live and living a life that leaves a legacy. Uh, that when people are thinking back about you um, and when you're thinking back on your life, that you don't have regrets, that you think about the things that you wanted to do and that you did do. And so let me come up a little bit. So I just wanted to share just a couple things. Um, like I mentioned, you know, tomorrow is not guaranteed to any of us. I mean, it doesn't matter your age or whatever. I mean, we could, you could go to sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow. Or you could wake up tomorrow and get ready to go to work and on your mm -hmm. way to work get into an accident. And I'm not saying any of this to, to be uh uh, bringing you down or gloom and doom, but I am saying it because I want people to recognize that tomorrow is not promised to any of us. And so we have got to live our lives the way we want to live them. We have to live lives that are speaking to what God has intended us to live and really true, be true to ourselves. And so I just wanted to jump on tonight and leave you with three things. I mean, just three quick things um, that if you are um, not mm -hmm. living the life that you are designed to live. If you want to make more out of your life, these are three things that you have got to eliminate from your life today. Today is Memorial Day. <laughs> hey, JD. I'm being photobombed by my five-year-old. Say hi. hi. <laughs> but anyway, um, but three things that you have got to lim eliminate from your life if you are to really truly live life, live it to the fullest and, and not be sitting around regretting things. And so number one, you have got to eliminate limiting excuses. And when I say limiting excuses, those are the things that um, I can't start a business because um, you know I have to have my nine to five 
Well, you can start a business. You can still have your nine to five and have that salary, but you can start a business on the side. JD. <laughs> anyway, um, you can start a business that have some have your your side gig, your side hustle on the side. Y'all probably know lots of folks who have a side hustle. They have their nine to five, but they do their side hustle too. That is no excuse because you need your nine to five that you can't start a business if you want to do it. Or I want to go back to school, but um, I can't um, find the time. If it's about improving yourself and investing in yourself, then you can find the time. There are so many, there are online courses, there are night schools, there are all kinds of things. And so that first thing I want you to do is, uh, you, <laughs> you, have a, you have one, I think you have a side hustle, right? Um, or you have an excuse. Tell me which one, T, which, um, what, do you have a li uh, limiting excuse or do you have a side hustle? Tell me which one you have, but anyway, but the first thing you need to eliminate is those limiting excuses. So if you are wanting to do something, but you are having excuses about it all the time, oh, side hustle, yeah, I think everybody needs a side hustle. You know, everybody needs multiple, in, uh, multiple streams of income, so a side hustle is a good thing. Um, but if you have limiting excuses, I want you to sit down and just make a list of some of those limiting excuses that you have and then actively come up with a reason that that excuse is really not an excuse. Find a way around those things. But if you have a limiting excuse that is keeping you from living your life to the fullest and doing and being everything that you want to be, then today on this Memorial Day, let this be your Independence Day. Between now and July 4th, Independence Day, be independent and get rid of those limiting excuses. Okay, number two, limiting excuses was number one. Number two, are limiting beliefs okay that sounds similar but it's different limiting beliefs and limiting excuses are those excuses that you come up that may sound legitimate but are things that you can't do limiting beliefs are those things that you tell yourself those things in your mind that keep you from living the life that you want to live so if you are saying you know i want to go out there and i want to um you're gonna run for office and then, but in your mind, you have some, you're telling yourself, oh, but I'm not political. I'm not from a political family. Uh, people don't know me. Whatever you're telling yourself in your mind, those are limiting beliefs. And we all have them. You know, I always tell people, I sometimes call it the little me syndrome. Or I think about, you remember back in the day when we were young and you'd watch the cartoons and then the cartoons had the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other shoulder and they were whispering in that person's head. We all have those. We have those people in our, or we have those thoughts and mind, things in our mind that are telling us we can't do something. You know, it might be telling you, you can't do it because you're a female. You can't do it because you're black. You can't do it because uh, you have children and, you know, they come first. You know, there are lots of things that we're telling ourselves that we can't do something because of. Those are your limiting beliefs. And you have got to get rid of those limiting beliefs today. Those are the things that are keeping you from living your life. Those are the things that are keeping you from being, uh, living the life and, and being what God intended you to be. Having a fulfilled life. That is what's keeping you. So that is number two. So number one was limiting excuses. Two is limiting beliefs. And number three, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all got to write this down. This is so, so very important. The third thing that you have got to get rid of today Today, if you are going to live the life that you were designed to do, is get rid of those limiting people. Okay, now I know somebody on here is going to give me an amen or some hearts for that. Limiting people. If you agree with me, you give me some hearts for that. Y'all know it. We all know it. We all have those people in our lives, those limiting people. Those people that are within our circle, and you know who they are. As I'm saying it, their thoughts are their names are coming in your mind. Okay, Millie, you missed it. Poor connection. Okay, so number one, number one was limiting uh, excuses. Number two was limiting beliefs. And number three was limiting people. Limiting people. That's the big thing. You got to remember just number three, limiting people. So you got to get rid of those limiting people. We all know them. We all have them. Number, they are in our circle. Those are the people within your circle. The people who you call friends. Um, some of those might be your family members. Some of them could be your spouse, unfortunately. <laughs> Alan says, amen. Yeah, tell Tracy, tell them, tell them this is for men too. But yeah, those limiting people who are always saying, girl, you can't do that because X, Y, and Z. A girl, are you crazy? You going, you're going to invest in 
um, doing something, um, doing something like that, whether it's investing in getting yourself a coach or investing in going back to school, or they're like, oh girl, you shouldn't do that. I mean, you know those people. Those are the limiting people that are in your circle um, or in your family that keep you from living the life that you are intended because they can't see past what is uh, what, what they're having right now. So they don't see you doing more than you're doing right now. And they want you, and I, I hate to say it this way, but they want you to be miserable. You know, those people who they're miserable and so they want you to be miserable. They want to tell you, you know, girl, who said that, you know, you could go out there and get another job or who said you could start a business? You know, you know, you really need to stay with your job, stay that nine to five because you need the insurance or whatever that is. And so you have got to get rid of those limiting people because those are the people who are keeping you from doing what you need to do. If you are not happy, then you are not living the life that God designed for you to be. And if you have those people more than the people in this scope need to hear this, yes, I agree with that. I need to do a scope just on limiting negative people, don't I? Um, it's too hard. Why try? Yes, you got those people. Oh, why try? It's so hard. Um, or why, or if, no one's ever done that before. I remember when I first ran for city council, never, almost 15 years ago now, I had so many people, people within my own circle telling me, oh, I don't know if you should do that. You can't win. Um, nobody's going to vote for you. You're not well known in the community. Uh, you, um, you're not political. You don't know people in, in political circles. Well, I didn't know some people in political circles, but I also knew and believed in myself. And so if I listen to those people, even those people who mean well, because some of them could be your friends and they just don't want to see you hurt. But again, those limiting people have limiting beliefs as well. And the limiting, the beliefs that, yeah, see what God, <laughs> see what God did. Thank you. And, and, and I, I still believe God is using me. But I'm going to tell you, if I believe those people, if I listen to those people, I would have never gotten to where I am now. And so that's just what I wanted to share with you all tonight. Um, as I think about um, my friend, and I, like I said, she's just a, such a sweet person. And I remember one of the last conversations we had. And, you know, I just don't want to be that kind of person that is looking back and feeling like I have regrets. Um, she lived a wonderful life and truly a life that is leaving a legacy and will continue to leave a legacy here in Columbia. Um, but I will tell you that there were some things that would happen in her life that she was not happy. And she told me if she had to do it again, one of the things that she would do is limit some of these things. And so as I was thinking about her and honoring her, I wanted to share this message with you all tonight because again, I know that each and every one of us has a life, a, a, a divine life, um, if I should say, <laughs> a divine life that God has for all of us. And if we truly want to live a life that leaves a legacy, if we want to be happy, if we want to just really truly walk in our purpose and live in our purpose, then we have got to get rid of these limiting excuses, these limiting beliefs, and these limiting people out of our lives. And if we can do that, then we can truly live a life that leaves a legacy and be happy with our lives. And then not be able to be in a position where we're not looking back, regretting things that happen. So with that said, again, if those of you who are new to me, I hope that you continue to follow me. I am Tamika Isaac Devine, um, success strategist and possibility activator and a founder of the Possibilities Institute, where we live... <laughs> My, my daughter is talking to you um, at Possibilities Institute, where we empower women leaders and moms to discover their leadership possibility, live a life that leaves a legacy and maximize their potential. And my little one wants some attention. So I think I'm going to sign Ooh. off now. But again, you can always follow me on Twitter at T.I. Divine, Periscope at T.I. Divine, on Facebook at Tamika Isaac Divine. And then, of course, you can go to our website at www possibilitiesinstitute.com and also remember if you go to the possibilitiesinstitute.com website you can always send me an email or you can sign up for our newsletter and get some more success strategy tips from me um, and also um, there will be some more things coming but again y'all I promise you I'm going to be on Periscope a little bit more 
um, my little one wants some attention, so yes. I'm going to get ready for the last yes. day of school and give her some attention. Yes. Say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for signing in. Y'all have, yes, mommy first. I'm, I'm a true mompreneur. But anyway, um, and that's my <laughs> oldest one. Say hi. hi. They're photobombing my periscope. Anyway, I got to go. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful night, a great week, and I'll see you next time on my next scope. Yep.